Hey guys, before the video actually gets rolling, I do just want to quick point out the OEM numbers uh, for the OEM files that I talk about. Um, none of the things that I had left to remove in the video were there for you to see. But when I say like OEM 73.inf, that might not be the same number for you because it has to do with how Windows loads in the drivers. Those are just arbitrary numbers. Um, as those files are generated from the actual drivers that are installed. So don't get too hung up on the numbers. Just focus on whatever numbers apply to you. The process should be very similar for whatever driver you're trying to remove to get memory integrity working. All right, on with the video. What's up, guys? So there's been issues enabling a uh, security setting in Windows and I wanted to walk you guys through what I did to fix it. Um, online help for it was kind of middling, you know, solutions that work for other people didn't work for me. Um, I'm sure this solution might not work for all of you, but if it helps someone, then I consider it a win. So you'll probably see a notification down here in Action Center, but since I was futzing around with it, I'm already like, it's not there. When you click it, it will take you to Windows security, core isolation, it's gonna say mega memory integrity cannot be enabled. It might give you the option to try to turn it on. You'll try, it'll say, hey, you can't be enable this, uh, resolve any driver incompatibilities. So I had five drivers, um, three from Logitech, all kind of related to the same driver. Um, actually, it's only three drivers, but there are multiple files for one of them. I had the three from Logitech, all relating to WM filter and WM ver hid, HID, whatever. Um, Xbox USB, so XUSB 21.inf. And I had uh, WDC SAM uh, underscore pre win eight, I believe is the name. It was pre win eight or um, it had win eight in it. So basically, it was like a driver for. They basically consolidated their drivers for everything before Windows 8 at some point. Uh, that's for Western Digital. So I'm going to run through the Western Digital one first because that was the one that really kind of confounded me for the longest. So I got to get through with this. I don't like my desktop shortcuts. I don't like having any. So I do want to point out a great tool for handling this kind of thing. Uh, Driver Store Explorer. I'll throw a link in this in the description. Uh, Lost in Dark. You're a hero. Uh, this made life so much easier. Um, it listed out all my INF files. It doesn't list out all the sys files, um, but I don't think that is the like that's not the fault of Driver Store Explorer. That's not what it's for. I was really, so I do want to give some background on this issue before I get into the fix, just for those that are curious, because I think I know what happened. I think that these are old drivers that Windows, for whatever reason, didn't clean up. And because these driver files lived in the same path as the new ones that replaced them, they were being loaded side by side. I don't know if that's a bug. I don't know if that's a for sure what was happening. I didn't like dive into Windows logs and check what drivers were loaded. I didn't care that much. I'm a Linux guy, not a Windows guy. Someone else can do that research. But what I will say is I was I was scared that, you know, Logitech, Western Digital, and Microsoft itself were releasing drivers that were not compatible with Windows default security settings. Um which, you know, I was going to be frustrated because I like using my Xbox controller for some PC games, you know, Elden Ring, Dragon Ball Z Kakarot, what have you. Um, I like my Logitech mouse and keyboard. I just got a, the new, or the G815. So I was going to be really frustrated if I spent that kind of money only to live with the security exception. And then the Microsoft one just confused me. I was like, really? They're not keeping their own drivers up to date for their own operating system? What's going on here? But from what I could tell, every single driver had either a newer driver or it was just something from software that wasn't supported anymore. And this is a three-year-old Windows install, so there's bound to be some files laying around that just shouldn't be there anymore. So 
I went and found all the drivers. Um, I, when I tried deleting some of them, it would say these drivers are in use. So I'm going to show you what I did for each one. And we're going to start with Western Digital because, again, that one annoyed me the most. So when I went into Driver Store Explorer, I saw WDC Sam. And so I actually opened the folder location. And in here was where the pre-Win11 file was. And when I tried to delete it, it would say it's in use by the system. So if I do this, yeah, you need permission from trusted installer. I think it said I needed um, system permissions. It said the file was in use, um, which was really weird because this is Windows 11. It shouldn't be using that driver. So I started doing some digging and there were conflicting versions. The um, pre-win 11 file or pre-win 8 file wasn't showing up in here. Uh, so I did find a post online that said you had to basically unload the driver, any device that was using the driver, um, which kind of freaked me out because I was like, well, but if I replug that drive, the, in this case, the hard drive in, I have a Western Digital hard drive. If I plug that back in, am I not just going to load the driver again? Um, but I tested this. I've gone through multiple reboots. And you just go to the device, uninstall device. And the hard drive is still there in Explorer. And it's going to ask you to reboot. Don't reboot. Go delete the driver. Uh, delete the file here in driver store, file repository, WD Sam, INF. Delete the uh, offending file that is listed in Windows Security. Then reboot. Your hard drive should come back. It did right away for me. I had no issues whatsoever with that. Multiple reboots. The driver has stayed gone. The old driver is gone. I only have the new one version, 455, 25, 661. So that's Western Digital taken care of. Um, for the most part, uh, after actually that was the only one the driver store explored and help with right away. After that, I handled the Xbox one and that one just deleted right away. No big deal. Um, that was the, that, I think that was also the one that made me think that these drivers are just not getting deleted properly all the time because I had Xbox X USB 22 and 21 right next to each other. Um, that was just really bizarre. I don't know why that was there. I don't know why the new one isn't in here anymore. Um, maybe it, it's not an INF file, it's just a .sys file. And I just happened to see it at some point. Um, but that one's easy. The Logitech one is a little weird. So you'll see there's not an OEM file here. Uh, you'll see an OEM number.inf with most of these drivers. WMFilter.sys will have an entry with and without OEM, the OEM file. Uh, I did get rid of the OEM file already uh, with Driver Store Explorer. I thought it was with G-Hub. It is not. It was with uh, Logitech game software, you know, uh, which I used for my Logitech joystick. So I deleted that, but then it didn't delete the other files. And I was very confused where they were. So I'll show you where they were. If you go to Windows, System32, Drivers, and you scroll down, and now these shouldn't be loaded. See, yeah, they're from 2010. Um, and actually there's also this WM hid low that I'm going to delete as well because it was installed at the same time. There's no reason such an old file should be here. And just hit continue for each one, delete them all, and you're done. So now I should be able to go in here and scan again. <laughs> Restart to apply protect protection changes. So now I should be able to restart and we will see memory integrity back on. It does say I have to restart, so I will um, stop this recording and whack uh, another recording to show that it did in fact work. I promise you, like, this should be fine now. Windows is saying it's good. So we're going to reboot. We're going to make sure those drivers didn't come back. And yeah guys i rebooted and you know part of me was scared that something was gonna happen but core isolation is good memory integrity is on it's all fixed um 
it took me months of just kind of staring at this notification to finally just go, okay, I'm finally just going to fix this because this is unacceptable. Um, I think at the end of the day, yeah, the problem is there is some cleanup that's not happening on Windows. Um, app developers write their uh, cleanup uninstallers and installers it does a lot of times they use like a framework that windows does provide but yeah somewhere along the way uninstallers aren't always doing what they're supposed to be um so if you see a driver in here when it says that memory integrity is off there's an incompatible driver um don't immediately get worried that it's just a driver for something you need uh do a little digging um, check a few uh, tutorials on PNP Util. If I if this ever happens to me again, um, maybe I'll just do a live stream um, debugging it, even if a lot of people aren't going to jump in and watch the stream itself. There will at least kind of be a VOD, um, and then I may or maybe I'll just record it as I do it, and then cut together what actually worked. Um, but yeah, I hope this video is helpful to some folks. Um, if there's anything I learned from the Grand Theft Auto video is that um, people will run the same problem, maybe even the same error code. Um, although I think some people that watched that GTA video got a different error code than what the video title lists and they thought they had fixed and I think they may get mad that it didn't work. Um, but I do hope that this helps some folks. Um, can't really help with something unless I can reproduce it in a huge coffin. But if I run into problems like this, I will try to make videos on it because um, the Grand Theft Auto one did really well. 200,000 some views now, I guess. And I would like to do like streaming and YouTube and stuff like Hard Time and just get a little money on that. But um, sometimes video ideas are hard. So this one seemed pretty easy. Um, yeah, anyway, I hope it helped you guys, and I will catch you later. Thank you.